G'day. Should we consider a tiered approach to KPIs? G'day. 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 What has this crisis taught you about your KPIs, your key performance indicators? KPIs is something that I have spoken about a bit on this show over the years, but it strikes me that right now, many of those KPIs don't really matter so much. It doesn't really matter what our average check is or our capture rate or our utilization. A lot of those metrics and those key performance indicators that we usually use to measure our business don't really apply right now because our business is in crisis. We just don't have enough customers anyway. And so the only metric that really matters is how many dollars you're bringing in at the top end. It's not even so much about how much profit you're bringing out the back because many of our businesses are operating at losses right now. So it's about trying to drive that revenue metric in the door. That seems to be the main KPI that really matters. And so it makes me wonder, should we be developing a tiered approach to KPIs? So we set our top three KPIs, which must be met first. If we meet those, then we start focusing on the next four KPIs, for example. And then once we've got those all covered, then we can worry about the other two or three KPIs at the end. So we take a tiered approach to KPIs as opposed to a holistic approach to KPIs, which I think most businesses do. They grab their top 10 KPIs and they say they're the ones we're going to focus on. And we effectively focus on them all equally. But maybe what this crisis is teaching us is that it's time for us to think about adopting a tiered approach to KPIs. Only when the most critical ones are met do we focus on the next ones and so on down the line. What do you think? I think it's actually worth the discussion. I would love to hear your comments in the comments below. I'd like to know what you think about this one. Do let me know. I do thank you for your time and I will be back again tomorrow. See ya.